Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthus. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is another guest video from Nova Gundam. This time using my favorite combination, the Jim White Dingo and its experimental beam rifle. This was so much fun to use in the first game. As I understand it, it works differently this time because you actually have to charge it before you can fire, which in the first game was not the case. It just fired, so it was this surprise burst of ridiculous damage. So yeah, they've changed how it works a little bit, and we're going to get to see it in action. It takes a little while to charge, looks like about 5-6 seconds, and it does 5,000 damage, and then takes a fairly long time to reload. That's, that's about how it worked in the first game. It may have done a little bit more damage than that, especially at higher levels, but it also just fired instantly and then took over a minute to reload. I think they've shortened the reload time here a little bit. Let's see tagged his uh, one teammate there by accident, which happens. And... See, he got one grenade to chuck out, and then I think... Oh, good square hit on that uh, Akzaku, which is now dead. And he managed to dodge roll back right out of the explosion, which is perfect. And... Got some Vulcan shots in, and the rifle is ready again, so as soon as he's got a good uh, target, he'll be good. Let's see, got the assist on that. And lob a grenade that way. And that might not be a bad choice. Of course, the trick with charging weapons, as you know, is if you get knocked out of the charge, you have to start over, which makes this beam rifle a lot harder to use than it was in the first game. Also, oops, speaking of, got hit by the airstrike but did not die, so that's a, that's a plus. But yeah, so... Yeah, it was a lot more of a surprise sometimes when uh, this rifle went off in the first game. It's also relatively short range compared to uh, other rifles of its type, but uh, did good damage, as you can see. 7,700, I think, to something... Yep, it was a proto, so type advantage. And got it with... got the assist on that. Thought he'd get the kill, but I think everybody was kind of vying for it at that point. Gonna be a while yet until uh, the rifle's ready again, so pretty much what he's got uh, going on is a beam saber. So, just a... well, and head Vulcans, so just a question of finding where to plant them. Oops, well, good news is when he comes back, his rifle's recharged. But, yeah. Okay, yeah, the Gundam Ground-type weapons rack got him. It's it's a pretty good, uh, yeah, I, I, I have always liked that rifle, and it looks like a lot of fun. I still don't have it, I don't think, on either account. I have the Jim White Dingo on one account, and I may have gotten the rifle on the other, but I don't have the White Dingo. I don't remember. I think, I know that's the case, I thought that was the case with the Akzaku, I found out I do actually have an Akzaku on that, on the account with the rifle, so I will probably try and get a video with that sometime soon, but it is time to uh, head back out there and see what you can do some massive damage to. Uh, the White Dingo is fairly rare amongst general gyms for having both the Vulcans and the grenades, not a lot of mobile suits do that, usually one or the other. Um, the only other thing I can think of, matter of fact, you know, general or otherwise that has it is the uh, gun cannon, which has both the Vulcans and grenades, but it's it, it's a rarity. Let's see, well-chosen beam saber swing there, did not tag any of his allies with it. That person, odd, ah, has two swings, I forgot that, so yeah, he managed to get that person right coming right out of their dodge roll. Let's see, that person's going over there to try and take C. Um... But he got them because they were on the edge of the building. If they'd landed in between, they might have made it, but they didn't, so they didn't. Dodge rolled out of the way. Good downswing. Didn't ca hit any of either of his allies. Uh, knocked down the enemy, so... Yeah. Good stuff going on here. And, yep. Double swing. Tagged his ally, but that happens. Yep, stopped to tell, uh, give the sorry tell. Lost his shield. It's the only problem with, uh, with sending the sorry tell is sometimes you do kind of, uh, it does kind of distract you from the business of shooting at things, which is kind of the name of the game. And just, it's a gotcha. And again, this doesn't have tremendous range. So it's, ah, he's scoped in, so, and got the kill with that, so very nice. And now it's just a matter of... Ah, caught it in the, uh, caught it in the swing, got the counter tackle. Nice. And followed up. Let's see, took a shot from somebody, but might have been one of his allies by accident because it didn't 
seem... I'm not sure if he took any damage or not. If so, not much. Ah, three minutes left. Fairly fast-paced round here. Good, a uh, good grenade swing on the gotcha. Or grenade throw, not swing. Um, uh, and... Got out of the way of that shot as it came in, which sadly did not stop the proto, but... If he lands his shot, he can stop the proto. He can also stop the gotcha. And... Took a shot, did not make it. Got hit by something, not sure what. But, uh... Yeah, not a lot of t uh, time left here, two and a half minutes. Got some grenades still. And, yeah, again, it'll be a while till the rifle's ready, so... Gotta work with what you've uh, got. Dodge rolled out of the way. High mobility shifted out of the way. He caught it with the uh, very back of the downswing. That was a good shot. It's dead. He tackled to uh, get the weapons rack uh, slowed down. Hit it with one melee swing. And that was actually... I forgot that the uh, Schneid actually has uh, that defensive skill that keeps you from being knocked out of a swing. So that was not a bad move, uh, you know, swinging when it swung. Doesn't seem to have caused any problems anyway, so... And now, let's see. Not a lot of time left, as I think I've said once before. About 90 seconds. That's pretty good. Again, this round is moving very quickly, so... And, yeah, I think the rifle does ready back up a little bit uh, faster than it used to. So, yeah, and he's probably going to tell them to fall back for now, which is good advice. They've got a 3,000-point lead. And you don't want to get in too deep with that, because they... Uh, they, uh, you know, could rally, but they don't seem terribly coordinated at the moment, so... Let's see, that's, I think... I'm not sure... Oh, that is a Jim Sniper Custom, I think. Yeah, it's got the arm-mounted saber, it's got all that, and it is just... Man. Yeah, they did manage to uh, coordinate on him, but hopefully the rest of the team... Oh, well, it looks like the person who got him got uh, caught in the airstrike, or one of them, so... And with a minute left, there's not much to do, but, you know... See if you can get some shots in and, and uh, protect your lead. They have dropped back a little bit, which is wise. And he is going to come in at D and get ready to do whatever he can do. Looks like there's one ally, one enemy rather, that's surrounded. Well, they're dead now because they were surrounded. So there is no way they... There, I'm not going to say there's no way they can lose. It's possible maybe, but with 20 seconds left it is very unlikely. Just a matter of landing the shot. He landed the shot. Proto tried to stop him. He got a good swing in on the Proto. It seems to have pretty good melee damage, too, a 2,000 uh, shot against a Proto. So, yeah, good one. Ah, oh, Ninja Man's here as well. I didn't realize. Cool. But, uh, yeah, so... And one last kill at the buzzer. Very nice. So, yeah, Jim White Dingo does really well with its troll rifle. I hope I get that rifle. It is fun. And thank you, Nova, for the round. It's nice to see how this operates now. Uh, he got top assist, and I'm pretty sure he got a good pile of kills, too. So, yeah, good round. Yep, 4-3. to three. That's pretty good. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. So, till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! If you go back far enough on my channel, there is probably at least one Gundam Battle Operation 1 video where everybody in the round is a Jim White Dingo with the Troll Beam Rifle. It was fun.